My paper is finally out and I'm no longer a student, so I can finally spill the tea on some of the messy behind the scenes and harsh realities of being an academic researcher. Both the full text and the briefing will be linked in my bio. In the world of AI research, papers are your currency. And some people will do whatever they can to get as many papers out, and it gets messy. Getting scooped, i.e. getting your work stolen, is oddly normalized, especially as a new researcher. This typically happens when a researcher from a bigger lab with more resources publishes your work before you get the chance to. Now, you might ask, why not report it? To whom? And even if you report it, who's going to believe that a reputable lab stole your work as a small researcher? Don't forget that people in academia talk, so you also run the risk of tarnishing your name before you even get a name. And because of this power dynamic, it just becomes a situation where it's normalized and people warn you about getting scooped, but there's nothing really you can do about getting scooped. Another messy thing in academia is authorship. I found myself in situations where I wasn't properly credited for my contributions to a paper. And this might be a hot take, but I think that's plagiarism. And this typically happens in big collaborations, papers where you see upwards of 15, 20 authors. That's why I always advise people, treat collaborations as a business contract. Make sure you know exactly what your contributions are going to be and how you'll be credited on that paper before you put all your hard work just to receive no credit. And be equally as careful about the small papers too. It's the same issue, but in reverse, where they want to keep the author list as elite as possible. Possible. This isn't normalized. In fact, it's considered bad practice. But the tricky thing is timing. Often you're finding out that you weren't credited after the paper is published or once it's already in review. And unless you have someone in your corner that's willing to attest to the work that you did, it can be hard to defend yourself. And a tip for my new researchers, this can happen to you by one of your colleagues, and also your supervisor. You never get too comfortable. Protect your interests always. Another harsh reality is that the visibility of your research depends largely on what's trending. During my MSc, ChatGPT came out and it felt like if you weren't willing to change your research to a large language models, no one really took interest in your work. There's definitely something to be said about being adaptable, but the key thing is that that push is also felt by your supervisor, and that could mean that they completely withdraw from your work, or they're forcing you to do work that you're not interested in. We need to start talking about the tokenization of Black and Indigenous students for professors to get research grants. It's quite literally a thing where professors will hire more minority students so that they can get EDI-related research grants, whether or not they care about the cause. If you think I'm joking, I had to post a presentation at NeurIPS, and let's just say the person in question did not show up, but that same night proceeded to ask me to send them a list of all my EDI related projects and extracurriculars so that they can add it to their research grant. And I could tell you a handful of stories where it was very clearly communicated to me that they were milking my identity. I feel like someone might ask me, why didn't I report them? Report what and to whom? There aren't exact mechanisms or channels for complaints like this to go through and a lot of the structures that do exist aren't safe. Professors stick together and that's all I'll say. The reality of being a grad student is that there's a lot of sociopolitics involved. If you don't learn how to play the game, you will get swallowed up by it. So what did I do? I learned the game. Despite all the mess, my MSc was absolutely worth it. If I had to do it all over again, I would. And now that my paper is out, I think you should go read it. <laughs> Cheers!